Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is me teaching all of you guys how to create colored system messages with the new text chat service in Roblox Studio, okay? So my past three, four scripting videos have been on text chat service, right? And I know I covered uh, how to display system messages, right? But I never taught all of you how to uh, display them with color. And a lot of people have been asking like, how do I display a system message with color? All I have is just this white with a black uh, with a black stroke on it. So this is what I'm gonna uh, teach all of you, okay? So it's actually three lines of code, and I'm not, no, it's actually one line of code. If you think about, it. it's actually yeah, only one line of code. So let me just quickly. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to starter GUI and we're gonna insert a local script just like this, and we'll just call this like system message, okay? So first, uh, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna do local prefix equals to and then uh, in brackets we'll do like server and then colon just like that so this would be the prefix I'll, I'll zoom in because this is gonna be like a big script I mean like with the characters okay now we're gonna do local message equals to let's just do like subscribe to hashtag blue as a message right and now we'll, we'll do game dot text chat service dot text channels dot rbx general colon display system message and then prefix dot dot message so this will display um, a system message is going to be the prefix first and then dot dot the message so if I press play uh, uh, look, look, look what we have server subscribe to hashtag blue but now, if you want it with color, it gets a bit more complex, okay? Just a bit, actually. Well, just a bit, okay? We'll say it like that, okay? So what we're gonna want to do is first you're gonna uh, have uh, these uh, these quotation marks around your uh, string, okay? You're gonna create a string for uh, the color. You're gonna use HTML, okay? So first you're gonna have uh, these uh, these quotation marks right here. It's the top left button on your keyboard. It's just right below the escape key, okay? So now, uh, because this will allow us to uh, include variables in our string, string in interpolation, okay? So first, what we're gonna wanna do, equals to, uh, first what I wanna do is um, uh, less than bracket, I mean less than symbol, font, space, color, equals to, and then a uh, normal single quotation mark, equals to, number and then just do six f is six f's one two three four five six okay we're good and then uh another uh quotation mark uh single one greater than symbol then we're gonna have curly brackets we're gonna do uh we have two curly brackets right here this is we're gonna do prefix dot dot message as you can see we have these variables inside here so dot uh so prefix dot dot uh, message and then we're gonna do uh le less than bracket again and then we're gonna do slash font. And then to end it off, grid and bracket, okay? So what this is basically doing, it's a, it's applying a font color to this message, okay? So this font color right here is um, a hex value, okay? So let me just quickly go to Google real quick and search up hex value, uh, hex color picker, okay? And then right here, uh, Google will give you a hex color picker, and you'll so you can just slide it around. Uh, I'm gonna just choose sign color, just like this. And as you can see, this is the hex value, so you can just copy that, go back to Studio, and then paste that in for your hex value. Okay? So that's our numbered hex value. So now if we press play. Look what happens. As you can see, we have a colored system message. Okay? It was that simple. You just had to uh, use uh, like when you mod when I modified uh, the the chat tags, this, you use the exact same thing. So all you have to do is just use uh, just this quick line, and then you just choose your font color, and then you have a colored system message. Okay. So uh, I <laughs> a lot of people have been trying to find this, and uh, you have it now. So uh, this script will be in the description, and that's for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Bye!